Hey, Butch Zemar here. One of the biggest questions I get when it comes to scuba diving is how do they get certified? What's the process? Um, well, in reality, there's three parts to actually getting certified to go scuba diving. The first part is where you actually um, have an academic session of learning how to dive. This could be online, self-study. It could be lecture-based. Most of the lecture bases are gone away many years ago, uh, but it's still in existence in some parts of uh, probably the world. But um, you could definitely do it online or um, in a home study format. And then you follow up with an instructor uh, that you would sign up with, whether it's independent or through, or through a dive shop. And you uh, just review what you learned to make sure you learned it accurately on your own. Go over and hit some highlighted points, things that uh, an instructor probably thinks you should know. They'll share some life uh, events with you of some dives that they've done. They had some lessons uh, learned along the way. And, of course, all the fun stuff and exciting stuff. Uh, everybody's got different exciting stories um, that to tell. Uh, the second part is where you start learning how to actually dive. Usually this is what uh, is done in a pool session or uh, a controlled confined water session. Uh, when I say confined, it means uh, maybe uh, uh, shallow water. Uh, it could be still ocean. It could be a quarry. Uh, typically it's a little warmer so you can adjust to the water and then of course it's still within uh, reach of the surface usually within 10 feet maybe 12 15 feet generally less than 20 but uh, typically it's around 10 feet depending on where you go so um, anyhow the instructor will actually walk through and demonstrate skills that you need to know in order to be a sufficient uh, diver at least move step to move it into the advanced open water or continue your diving adventure but you still need to apply some of these skills that you actually learn to an open water environment. So the second part is you learn all the practical skills that you need to know in the um, pool or confined water. Uh, and then the open water is you need typically, most training agencies require four training dives over two days. And uh, you need to demonstrate once again that you remember everything you have learned with your instructor in the pool and the uh, academic portion in apply to real life um, uh, environment such as quarry, ocean, lake, whatever it might be. Typically it's uh, 20 feet-ish, some will go to 30 feet. Um, a lot of times it's a lot of tours, you do some skills, you go for a tour, it's a lot of fun, you'll get to see exciting things you haven't seen before, uh, maybe a lot of colors, uh, depending on where you go. So anyhow, um, so those are the three parts to actually learn how to dive, uh, depending on uh, how you break it apart is up to you, whether you do part of it where you live and then the part of it uh, destinations such as uh, travel destinations throughout the world uh, or maybe you do a local classroom and pool and then go somewhere maybe in the Midwest uh, and do some dives. Yes, the Midwest. There's a lot of diving going on in the Midwest. So anyhow, just remember three parts to get certified uh, and nothing shorter unless you're getting part of the certification. If you want the full certification, that's what it's like. So thanks for watching. Um, scubabutch.com. Thanks.